I just... You are heathen in a lot of respects, but I don't know if this is one of them. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Waggy's Travels. We are off on a... Um, well, it's not a weekend trip, is it? It's a, it's a bank holiday. Yeah, trip. it's a bank holiday trip. Um, we're not doing the uh, camper this time. Um, we are taking my electric car, which you're still kind of getting your head around, aren't you? So well, you know, once you get used to being the slowest thing on the road and then having to stop <sighs> occasionally to fill up with electricery. Yeah, which so, does take how long? Yeah, it's going to take 20, 25 minutes longer than what it would do if we was in the in the bus. So. There we go. Just enough time to have a coffee. Anyway, we are on our way to Bath um, in the uh, in our my electric uh, BMW i3. So um, I thought we'd like to come along for the journey, and uh, we've got no idea what we're going to do, what we're going to see, but we. Well, gonna... it was all very last minute, wasn't it? Yeah. As because penal. something very big happened this week. Go on in. Now, we have found our dream house. Yes. So, yes. So this is by way of a bit of a celebration to ourselves. It is, it? it is, yeah. We found a house that uh, looks out um, onto the... River liner. Onto the river liner. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Even though I said I would never live in Cornwall, and I didn't want to live in the middle of nowhere in a village. So we so are in the middle of nowhere in a village, in and we're in definitely, definitely in Cornwall. In Cornwall, yeah. So, but it is beautiful. <laughs> so, anyway, come along for the journey, and um, I shall show you the joys of an electric car when I um, when I stop and, and charge it. I shall show you um, how how you plug it in and right. what I you do, and um, how quickly. An electric car charges. People have this idea that if you've got an electric car, it takes hours. Well, I reckon 15 minutes, and I'll have 80% of the charge that I need. So uh, from nearly flat. So okay, I might do the balanced argument. Yeah, if you had a petrol car, you'd just go. You'd in have been and, gone by now. Yes. Yeah. yeah I know. I know. So. But there we go. Anyway, Rich, Rich likes to stop for a coffee, so. We twin the things together, don't we? This is it. This is it. Right. Um, see you when we stop to get some electricery. And a coffee. And a coffee. So, we've arrived. We're at, um, where are we? Bridgewater, I think. Um, um, I've got the car on charge. As you can see, uh, what I forgot to do was film me putting it on charge. But anyway, we've been here for 12 minutes. 14 minutes and um, I've gone from 4% battery and I'm now at 80 so nice new rapid charger makes a world of difference uh, not long we should be on our way and uh, heading towards Bath so um, next stop Bath right we've done it we've reached Lee Delamere uh, and the car is uh, on charge again because we'll be using it tomorrow um, so the pain is that where we're staying the travel lodge is the other side of the building so uh, desperately miss the camper because everything's there with a the camper so yeah we're on charge again as you can see um, just gonna unload the car take the stuff around and um, decide what we're gonna do this evening so if we go into Bath come with us <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, I think everybody can see what we're doing. Uh, we're at the Barrage in Chippingham. And just about to be And then tomorrow, we're going to go and have a look around. Oh. We're going to Barrage, yeah. And then we might go and look at Bowood House. I don't yeah. know what this is. Oh, that's going to be hot. Is it? Yeah. You're brave. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> this, in actual fact, is take two, but don't worry about it. Um, so, 
had a really good evening out, had a curry. Um, in the last bit you saw uh, Lisa telling you where we were going tomorrow and what we were doing and quite merrily putting pickles onto her plate. Um, and she had the green ones. Oh yeah, they were warm. Yeah. Um, 15 seconds after I stopped filming, uh, after I stopped filming, uh, the tears were just running down her eyes uh, and she was coughing like mad. So, you know, as you do. As you do. I did take some red stuff as well, but I, I decided not even to try that. Because <laughs> <laughs> if, if, normally red is a danger colour. Yeah. So green isn't normally so bad, but you know. It was. <laughs> yeah. It looked like green beans with, um, I don't know, like, I suppose pepper seeds. I should imagine they were. Yeah, well, I didn't try it. Not that brave. No. Anyway, very nice curry house. A little bit expensive, but you pay for what you get, really. And anyway, tomorrow is Bath. Um, going to dump the car at Park and Ride. I didn't say where the, uh, the name of the curry house. Oh, the curry house was called the Raj. Award winning House of Commons. Something to do with that. In Chippingham. In Chippingham. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Nice ambiance. I, I, <laughs> it was, it, I didn't see it. I work in an ambiance, so I wouldn't know. I was, yeah, no, yeah. it's very nice. So, it's a good find. Anyway, tomorrow? Bath. Bath. Dump the car in the park and ride. Going on the bus. So do we say bath or bath? Bath or bath. bath. <laughs> if so. you come from bath, it's bath, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but if you don't come from bath, it's bath. you say bath. Yes. There we go. So um, that's it for tonight. Um, Nighty night. See you all in the morning when you can join us on the bus ride in a bath. Into bath. To bath. <laughs> no night. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Morning, morning, morning. Um, it's, it's sunny again. It's a gorgeous day. Absolutely gorgeous day. And uh, we're heading off into Bath, as we said last night. So, um, yeah, bright and early. Bright and early. Up past 10. <laughs> might, have, might have overslept. Uh, this last night was absolutely chock solid. I don't know if you can see it. it chock solid with caravans uh, and motorhomes. And there was a, a Burstner. Um, I know it's not nice to give registration numbers out, but it, it was BU15NER. And I thought that is absolutely amazing. So if you own BU15NER, spot on. A little, little bit of um, number plate envy. So anyway, let's go to the bath. We're going in and we're going to go on a parking ride. So come along. Going on the bus. On the bus. Oh, oh. Hey. So. I just got a bit excited about that ambulance in front because that used to be a Launceston, which is where I work. Anyway, that aside, hello, welcome. You can't say our lips moving, can you? Oh, you, yeah. you look like the Invisible Man with them glasses on. Oh, I suppose. You so, can't see any of me, can you? Yeah, this is it. And my incognito. She's incognito. Right, well, the journey that should have taken us um, 19 minutes to get to where we wanted to get to, um, took us 41 miles and um, well lovely the, views and yeah. lots of villages and the best part of an hour and a half um, mainly because it took us to the university park and ride and it's closed so we're at odd down park park and ride now heading in towards the city centre well I'm going to need feeding yeah we're just going to need food <laughs> so um Words, words, I'm just lost. Well, I don't know, we've had a lovely round trip of uh, beautiful countryside. But anyway, this is a view from the top deck of the bus. Uh, it's just like, just like, you know, it's memories for me, looking at that ambulance in front. It's like the proper ambulance I used to drive, and now I no longer drive that, I drive a Fiat. Oh, I thought so, you and me, me memories being on the top of the bus. No. Like in your school, you've got shorts on, so yeah. it could be like you were reminiscing about school days. The last time I went, well, apart from when we did the buses in um, France, um, Brussels, um, that's probably the first time I've been on a bus in 25 years. So, anyway. I'm rabbit on about nothing. Um, see when we get into the city centre. Oh, no, it's being pulled by a... Oh, oh I 
just tried to show you the uh, front of um, a rail sewers loco, but unfortunately. Don't worry, we'll just see it when we turn here. It's, um, there you go. That was actually yesterday, if you saw my clip. Um, that this was being pulled by um, Stanley and Black Fire. I've seen that two days in a row in two completely different parts of the country. We've arrived. There's a bit more open than I thought there'd be. So this is the Roman Baths and that in front of us is a church. So where we are, what we're doing, but um, trying to be very, very careful of copyright because there's buskers absolutely everywhere playing. So I'm trying to overcome their music with my voice. So um, that's the entrance to the pump room, wherever the pump room is. Found somewhere to eat. Yeah, yeah, very quaint. I feel like I'm in some European city. Sat outside in a little tiny street. Where we came to eat, where we came, where we had come to eat, as in Patisserie Valerie, has closed. Um, so, do you know? Um, well, I don't know. I've just been. I've strayed onto cakes already. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, oh, well. We'll show you when it arrives once we've made up our mind. Okay. All right, so you've just got yours. Yeah, I'll show you mine. Uh, looks absolutely amazing. Just quickly show them your your tea, your fruit tea dispenser. Ah, right, okay. Look at this, look at this. Ready? Uh, watch, watch. Ready? Are you on the cap? Go. All right, cap's at the bottom. Yeah, bottom. So, anyway, We're fruit tea. Queuing up to go in the Abbey. We're doing something cultural now, we've spent all our money. Yeah. Spent a fortune in the designer label shop. And now we're queuing up to go into the Abbey. Anyway, hopefully the queue will go down pretty quick. Can we should do something cultural while we're here. Yeah, we're going to do cultural. So we've done food, we've done shopping. Yeah, food and shopping, so cultural now. In preference to spending, order. to spending more money. Yeah. Yeah. Right, more as we get in. Well, we are in the Abbey. Inside, and um, some of the abbey is closed off because of um, building works. But I've just noticed. Look at look at the size of that organ. names go full circle, don't they? Yeah. So. But it, it does strike you how people didn't live very long at the time. Yeah. 
stairs up to the organ. As you know, we, we love our we love our churches and abbeys and cathedrals. Um, yeah. Just look at I just can't all that above there is organ. That is one massive organ. Uh, it's a uh, oh, what a shame you can't actually go up here. But my love of churches is not because I'm a religious person. Um, it's just that I learn so much. I have someone that educates me. Into the plaque, the organist. Uh, look at that! Look, this is a plaque for the organist. 53 years. Absolutely amazing. Just look at that stained glass window. Look at the work in that window. This be this sort of like to the side of the altar, isn't it? Um, if if I'm right in thinking, what happened was you had these little side chapels, and you got people to pray for you, so that your immortal soul would go to heaven. Right. Because back in the day, if you died and um, you hadn't been. Um, sinless I suppose you would held in a place called purgatory so you'd have you pay people to, to pray for your soul isn't that um, purgatory that's just down by North Prospect isn't it yeah so yeah if you could afford it you had a little bit a little place just for you so they would pray for you and presumably your family oh wow that's what an abbey was so an abbey and rich people paid monks and monks, I think, more than nuns, paid monks to pray for them, pray for their souls, rich people. They'd get away with murder on earth, and as long as uh, somebody was praying for their souls, they would be fine. All right. Yeah. Education. So there is a Reverend Chapel next door. Should yeah. we go and have a look at the Reverend Chapel? Let's do that. Let's do that. So. craftsman in absolutely everything in churches just blows my brain just absolutely blows my brain I mean that is thousands of hours of work carving is a private chapel. Not that private, is it? It's got a lot of um, people in here. No, I'm just saying it's just unbelievable that off of the main abbey. Well, hopefully you can hear us above the music. 
That's jolly, isn't it? It's rather good. What do you think to the Abbey? It's beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. They're um, taking up the floor. Yeah, they're putting, they're putting under, under, under floor heating in to reduce their carbon footprint. Yeah. But on the floor, all flagstones that date back to uh, 16th, 17th century. I take it they're lifting them, putting it down, and putting them back down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just anyway. it's a shame to walk on them because you can hardly read them now. This is it. This is it. So I want to quickly cut off before I get a strike for the music that's now playing in the background. So okay. back presently. So we're now in um, Milson Street, and I've just spotted a Ted Baker shop. Um, I'm such a, what's the word? Is it heathen? It, in what respects, love? Well, I just... You are heathen in a lot of respects, but I don't know if this is one of them. So you have to tell me a bit more of the story before well, I, I let just, you. You know, there's all this, there's all this... Oh, um, all this history around us, yeah, and um, you're looking at Ted Baker shop? Yeah. Well, I'm heading in that direction as well. <laughs> <laughs> but we can do both. We can do both. We can be... Philistines. That's the word, that's another good word. Yes. I haven't got a clue what it means. Oh, right. yeah. Philistine was just the Philistines were not the same as the Jewish race. Oh, all right. All. Charlie so calls me. If you didn't Charlie. believe in the Jewish faith, you were a Philistine. Oh. Charlie think, calls me a heathen. I think heathens are if you're not Catholic. Um, it's all religious connotation. Yeah. Anyway, there's, there's something up there with like a thing on it. A crest. Yeah. Right, let's go and have a look at Ted Baker. So we might have found the Ted Baker shop. Yeah. She didn't buy. Th to go on. Didn't buy a thing, did you? No, not for myself. No. Can't say any more than that because it gives a secret away. Isn't this it? is it. Right. Well, we're trying to work out where the actual baths are, but we found this. It wasn't actually lost, but we found it. So whether that is just sort of one of the spas or looking at it from here there's a thing that says um, baths and I'm assuming that must be up on the roof if I remember correctly from seeing television programs the spa itself is up high so that could very well be up there yeah if you look there's um, No, sort of the Roman baths must be here. But it looks like they've kind of moved things upwards. Oh yes, there you go, this is the hot bar. And you can't see anything through it, so I'm assuming it's all behind the glass doors. Trip. Many millions ago to the Roman Baths. Oh, All right. Yeah. But I know, as girls, um, I've been invited a couple of times to go up there to the spa, and you can lay there um, at night time. It's all open to the night sky. All right. Yeah. Well. But that's a modern edition. Yeah. I didn't get invited. Invited? It's a girly thing, don't Yeah. It? So. I could lay there like a walrus. Right, time for a coffee, I think, before we head back to the car. So, coffee not, cake and Earl Grey. Are you deep in concentration? She's deep in concentration, so yeah, Earl Grey and cake. Back presently. Oh. Are you facing us or yeah. facing the... I'm facing facing you. Oh. So we've just walked up Gay Street. Gay Street. And we're in the circus circle. Circus. The circus. So if I just sort of pan round behind. Them. If you want to um, rent one of these uh, as an apartment, so you're looking at about three thousand a month. So you know. Three grand. 
and it's not the whole thing. I don't know if it's the one at the very top. Let's just turn around and see what I mean, look. The look. Three grand a month. Oh my God. It's anyway. a bit of a desert res though, isn't it? Yeah, well we're going to show you an even desert res in a minute. We're, we're going to walk around this way. We're going to walk down to the, uh, to the Royal Crescent. So, uh, yeah, come and have a look down there. Right, so we're just walking into Royal Crescent and the first car on the corner of the road <laughs> kind of sums it up really, doesn't it? Uh, wow. Well, This is it. So it just, oh my God, just look at this place. Sorry, said it. Said it. If you look at the amount of it that it's closed, shut it up. Yeah would imply it's people's second residence, not their main residence. Yeah. Look, it's all closed, all boarded up. It's just, yeah. Should we buy a place here? Aston Martin or a new Bursner. I'm afraid the new Bursner actually wins hands down. Yeah. You'd have the Aston Martin, wouldn't well, you? Of course I would. Yeah. I'm only small. I can sleep in a car. You sleep in a car. <laughs> uh. This kind of overlooks Bristol, really, isn't it? In this Br Bristol Bath. Uh. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Oh, it's residence parking only. Oh, residence parking only, yes. Private residence only on the green. Oh well. Oh. We're on the bus. Well, I'm going to see how many steps we've walked because I've asked you twice and you haven't told me. Uh, how many steps have we walked? Well, I'm not telling you. Oh no, because mine was on checking. So, anyway, we're on the bus and we're heading back to. Uh, oh. We're heading back to the park and ride. So, and we've walked 10,000 10, steps. 10, steps. Right, back to the park and ride.